Hello friends, uh, today is a pretty exciting video. We have actually the last photo card storing video of the entire year. Where has 2021 gone? And this is going to be the second Christmas that I've celebrated on this channel and I just want to share my gratitude and I just want to say some little sappy things like thank you so much for your support. This year has been my first full year making videos on this channel. I started in August last year so this this year was my first like full 12 month January to December span and it's been crazy. I remember this time last year, I think it was actually on Christmas day, I reached 500 subscribers and now I'm literally on the cusp of 1,500 subscribers, which I think is crazy. I'm so, so, so grateful that people enjoy watching my videos and we're all collecting together. So I really love it here, but we only, I think, have stuff for my alt groups today. I want to say we literally only have 80s, Gravity, and Twice. Let's see. Uh, 80s, only two cards, and then, yeah, this is all Twice. We actually have stuff for three binders today because I have uh, two binders dedicated to Twice. Yeah, we've got a good little stack today it's not too much but i never usually expect much around christmas a lot of people including myself stopped posting for christmas so i'm not really expecting that many things in i think i have a couple more trades that are due to come in hopefully this week i do leave here on saturday to go home for christmas i'm leaving my binders here so i won't have them for a few weeks i think maybe three weeks so I will be pre-filming some videos. I do have a lot of exciting stuff coming. We have a lot of exciting things that come with like collecting channels at the end of the year. We have end of year photo card collection updates, like full in-depth tours of binders. But yeah, this is the last sorting video of 2021. So I'm gonna get into it before it starts getting really dark. I was gonna film this tomorrow originally, but my class ended earlier than usual so I thought I would try and film this before the sun sets so let's have a try I will need a few nine pocket pages today and I don't know if you can tell from like this angle but I actually did get a bigger binder both of my male ups are still in here gravity and 80s are still in here this eventually is going to become my 80s binder as this collection is just getting huge now <laughs> so i'm like i need more space but gravity don't take up that much space so i think eventually this will be just the 80s binder and then the smaller binder that i used to have these in will just house gravity I don't know, I need to work things out and move things around. Starting off with 80s, I don't have any epilogue things. I will put that out there. I'm not gonna have any epilogue things until Christmas. I have a set coming for Christmas. So my unboxing will be like Christmas day, boxing day. And then I'm in like group orders for all of the pubs and stuff. So they won't be coming until probably more late january like february time maybe and i of course still have a lot of part three stuff on the way these comebacks have been so quick i should get into putting some cards away that's kind of the point of this video starting off fifa part one cards i have these two Uyang's. this page technically will be done i do still need Young's diary card but it's like the lowest priority ever. I have caught up on his NMTs. I'm just waiting on them to be sent from my friend but they don't post in December for like safety and I just need now the episode 3 cards for Wave and Illusion. I think we'll 
be fully caught up with Wee Young very very soon which is really exciting but first of all I have one card from Inception and one card from Thanks so this is the brick wall card for Wee Young and I did this page mirrored so Wee Young goes in this corner here and then this is his other Thanks card for the headband it looks great Wee Young styling for Thanks it was so good, like the little plasters he had on his nose and the headbands, I just... Yes, now... So I don't have anything until Fever Part 3 as I finally got my Neo Kill box in that has my last few you Uno know cards. This is the pop. So I think the only one I technically needed was this, but because the set I got had extra cards of these, I did trade them for like other cards so I already had this card the diary second regular card and then this was his first regular A card I'm pretty sure I had these two already I definitely had this orange jumbo one but I just needed this one who knew that this set would cause me so much grief because this was the last Weon card I needed as well so at least both of my members are done for the previous album before I get anything for epilogue. Thank goodness. My favorite part two and part three pages feel just so satisfying. Like full pages of members. We love to see it. We love you know, we love Weon. Thank you. And if you didn't catch my setting up video, these are my pages for epilogue. One thing about getting a new binder, when the, they get caught on the rings, it's so stiff. So now I need to go through to the Fever Part 3 pages here. So this was my first page. I am planning eventually when I get the rest of them in to do specifically hollow pages. I did a hollow and units page for part two because there were no units and there were more hollows. I'm just gonna do like a holographic photo card page. But for now, we are here and I have, let's see what I have. I have Everline One, which was a pre-order. I have Y Global pre-order. Sonara pre-order. This is Tower Records. Uh, K-Town for you, number two. Who's Fan Cafe? And then I have some Eternal Sunshine cards. So first, I'm definitely gonna need some pages for this. First, I wanna put away these. These are the cards for Everline version one. I think there were like five versions of Everline and some of them had two cards and some of them didn't. So this is the first set. This heart cheek Uno you know card is literally one of my new favorite cards of all time. I think it's adorable. Uh, here are the backs, they're really simple. But this was a pre-order card and it was the like last pre-order set that I needed to get and I looked for so long to find it for a good price because they kept selling them separately. The hard sheet one kept getting overpriced because it's cute and then this one was getting priced much lower and it took me a while just to find a set of them together that was a price that I was willing to pay. So now I have these two. I think because this one, oh, I'm sorry my global. I think because this one also has a dark background, I'm going to put Sonara, which I think is a gorgeous card. His hair looks beautiful here. I love this outfit on him and the jewelry, gorgeous. I'm gonna put it there. And then this hollow for now, because I said I'm gonna do a hollow page. We need shiggy. I'm gonna put him here, but his hair is so fluffy and swoopy here. I love to see it. Then this is Tower Records and it looks suspiciously like the Hello82 pre-order which I didn't collect Hello82 because they're a USA exclusive so I'm gonna put him here so this is the second page of Fever Part 3 benefits I'm trying to put them 
kind of in order but also kind of not. I just know that I definitely want all of the Deja Vu hair colour ones first before the wand ones because then when it eventually runs through into the epilogue cards he's gonna be blonde in all of them. I think that works out. I think I'm gonna need one for just like generic non-album because I have his summer merch photo card. So for this page I will just have four. First of all this is the K-Town For You second round. Very very simple back. He's just gonna go here. There's no rhyme or reason as to where I'm putting these because I'll, I'll sort it out again once I get everything in. And then this is the Who's Fan Cafe card. It really reminds me of like Apple Music, these sorts of cards. I guess because they were all taken at the same time. I believe the Who's Fan Cafe also had a lucky draw, but I only collected two lucky draws for the whole era. I collected this music art one and then this sound wave version one. That's it for like the red hair deja vu era benefits. And now I have Wonderwall version two with the bunny filter. This back is quite different. I didn't expect it to be like this. I thought it would be like the same color as all the others. All the others have been colored after a version of the album so I guess this one would fit under deja vu type bags with the blue but I don't know it just kind of sticks out for no reason. So I'm gonna put this one here and then I have Everline. I think this is version three but I'm just gonna put him in the middle because I don't have like another card to put in. I'm just gonna put him in the middle, he's fine there. So I'm currently on my third page of part three benefits. Uh, I think it will go up to, f I don't want it to go up to six pages, but it fully might. Okay, this page, this is for non-album. Technically this is a season songs card, but I don't have the rest of my season song things yet. So where do I put this? This is the summer merch photo card binder card. I kind of want to put him here. Okay, don't hate me. I'm going to put the binder card here. I love this card. They're not the best quality, but I just think the set is adorable. They should have given us full group sets. And then I'm just going to put this season songs, you know, on the back here. I know what you're thinking. He's not going to stay there for too long. As soon as I get the rest of my season song stuff. He will be moved but that is it for 80s we've had quite a lot of progress we finished an album set finally and we added some non-album and some pops it's going well we can move into the literally two photo cards i have for gravity i don't think i will be needing a new page for this i think there's only three cards on this last page Oh, I know what I can do. This is Everline version 2 for the Awakening Written in the Stars album, Gas Pedal Promotions. I really like this guy. I like the green outfit on him, especially with that hair. But what I'm going to do is these two are both from like Gas Pedal Promotions with the black and white hair. This one in particular is a Tower Records card, so it's like a concept card sort of thing, and it's slightly bigger than all the other cards but I'm gonna put him here and then the two red haired cards I can just move into the middle for a little pleasant five pattern I think that'll be fine oh that works well these are like the same color okay the seagulls are so loud today so that's it literally for this whole binder I only had two gravity cards. Can you stop getting stuck on the rings, please? I will have some exciting things happening in this binder very soon. More things. Much excite. But now we just have twice 
and I literally, because I split my Twice collection into two binders, I have everything from debut to fancy in one album, so that's literally just that for this first binder, and then I only have Formula of Love Mangs for my second binder. So we'll put this fancy card away, it's actually a very exciting fancy card, but yeah it's kind of funny whenever I have to go into a binder for literally one card. This is my first twice binder. There's still many things in here that aren't complete. I think K Collect says I'm like 83 or 85% done. But guys, I finally got this Ring Pop Young Young card for Fancy. Do you know how long I've been looking for this? <laughs> it's been so long. And so this means that top three for Fancy is going to be finished. A bit iconic, I think. So, Jonghyun goes up here to finish out this page. Ah! Oh, that's so exciting. So, top three for Fancy is completely done. And then all I need is this one Momo card. And then Fancy is done. But let's move into the next Binder. This is the last binder of the video. I know this sorting video isn't very long, but I mean, you had a pretty long one last time, I feel, and you got my collection tour coming up soon, so I think that'll be really exciting. This is from Feel Special onwards, so I've got Feel Special, More and More, Eyes Wide Open, Taste of Love, Formula of Love, and I have a little bit of non-album, which I think I'm adding to today. But the first thing I have is for Formula of Love. I think I updated my Formula of Love section. Yes, okay. So I'm missing currently for Formula of Love. Trade has gone pretty well. I have a lot of things in. I still have a few things on the way. I have technically finished Sana's set. Sana is usually my trading priority because she's the hardest member I collect. And then Jihyo, I'm just missing one card. It's one of her explosion versions, the pink ones. I'm only missing that. And then she is all caught up until next comeback again. And then Jonghyun, I think I'm missing like three things. Of course, the results file version, the bloody extra version thing that JYP's been doing recently that I kind of despise. It's finally hit twice land. So because of that, I will be collecting a OT9 set. The OT9 set I'm collecting is, I'm gonna take this Jiko card out, is this one. So it's the full of love set that isn't the one that has like the sunglasses and the hearts. I think it's really cohesive, looks really cute. I'm really excited for it. It's not a priority. I might work on it a little bit through Macari Japan over Christmas. But yeah, I'll be collecting that OT9 set and then I think the results file version will go on this page because it's the same concept as study about love. I think it'll work well. To start off this little storing section, so for this page I have this Sana, that Sana, that Jihyo, this Jonghyo. So the pages are filling up. I'm done with the study about love version, which I love. I mean, women in STEM, what isn't there to love? So this is Jonghyo's card. Um, I'm pretty sure you've all seen the backs by now, but they just have the same background and then they just signed it. So this is Jonghyo's study about love card. Then for this full of love set, which is the one I'll be collecting OT9 for, I have this Sana card. She looks stunning. I love her in this color. I think it's beautiful. And then for the version where they're all either holding hearts or they are wearing like heart-shaped sunglasses, I have Jihyo and Sana. I got this off my friend Nate. I am so, so, so grateful for him. This, I think, is my favorite Jihyo card of the era. So, I'm so grateful. Jihyo goes 
here and she's done for this page and then so is Sana. I do have this jump gown on the way so I'll just be missing the sunglasses one but it's just so nice to see my pages filling up finally so for this page I have four cards one at least for each of my girlies I have two GQs though and we'll be finishing out the break it version as I have Jihyo and Yomyan. I love this Yomyan card. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. I really liked these fits. I especially liked the performance outfits that were kind of like these fits. They were so cute. Yomyan looked stunning. And then for the explosion version cards, I have these two which go into this bottom row here. I do have this Sana on the way, but she hasn't arrived yet. I think she's coming in the same trade as this Jonghyun. So hopefully they arrive soon. I would like them to arrive before I go home for Christmas so I don't have to leave the other person in the dark for like a month. But yeah, I have this Sana card, which I think is my favorite of her set this time it's so cute I thought it was gonna be such a pain to trade for but I luckily ended up trading for it so easily I was really happy about it so Sana goes in her middle spot and then this is the matching Jihyo card to that it's her other explosion version card is the last one I'm missing she goes down here and that's how this page is looking so far. Then for my scratch cards in units, my scratch card trade still hasn't come in yet. So I'm still waiting on these two, but I have the last red IDs I needed. I really like the breakout IDs. I thought they were so fun. Like the, the cute little poses they were all doing. I, I just think they're so cute. Like what is not to like? I know that not everyone is the biggest fan of like the really solid credit card IDs, but I mean, we'll work with what we've got. So that's Jihyo, and then this is Sana. Technically this page is complete, I'm just waiting on things to arrive, but happy to see at least one row on every single Formula of Love page filled up. We love to see progress. Now, okay, someone traded with me and they must have gotten their albums from Aladdin and had a lot of spare pops, but they gave me this hollow pop, so I kind of want to put it on here, but obviously I don't have like space, so I'm just gonna have to put it <laughs> on the back, I think. Like, technically this spot is free, but it's for the Story Begins ones. I want it to go in chronological order, so I guess I'm just gonna have to put this one on the back of um, page two. But it's a hollow group card, and I just think it's really pretty. Very last section of the video. Look at me go. But I have two of Jihyo's sixth anniversary photo cards. I also have a postcard and I'm looking to get her trading card set, I think. So eventually I think I'm gonna have a whole page just for these merch cards. Like look at this concept, look at the backs. They're so cute, I had to get them. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually move my photo book cards into a page because I was planning to have like a photo book card page because with having two cards from each of my second and third biases but then getting all four cards for Jihyo works out at eight so I can have a whole just photo book page we are just waiting on Jongyeon's photo book but both Sana and Jihyo had theirs this year so I think it'll be fun so I'm gonna have to add another page, but before I do that, I'm gonna put these away. So I'm gonna put the Polaroid one on the bottom right here, and then this like normal photo card one. I think this is just from the collect book 
set and this one is from the Polaroid decoration kit. So I'm just going to put these here. We will be getting a Formula of Love monograph probably March maybe, just like in a few months. So not too worried about this page filling up. I will fill in these gaps later. Love getting new pages out. So I have Kiko yellow, Sana, Chico blue, yellow, Sana, blue. Okay, the blue cards in these two corners. And then Chico's yellow cards in these corners. And then for Sana's black version cards, I'm gonna put them in the middle just because they're from the black photo book. So I feel it's a good divider between the colors. And then fill it here. And then when Jong Yeon gets her photo book, I will get one version of it and I will put them here. I finally separated them. How are we feeling? <laughs> I will put in all of these fillers after I stop filming. But yeah, I think this is a good plan for the photo book cards. A nice little tribute to my girls. Eventually I'll split up the monographs too and then start to look back, but that won't be until my album collection is more complete. So yeah, where should I end? Should I end it here? I think so. So that is everything for the very last sorting video of 2021. It's the end of the year. I'm not gonna get well, sappy and nostalgic, but it's been a really, really good year for my channel. I'm really, really proud of what I've managed to build, how consistent I've been with posting and things. Hopefully it can carry on throughout the rest of my my master's year. I did start my master's in September and you know it's, it's a lot it's a lot of work. My assignments are really really hard. I'm gonna try my best. I really enjoy making these videos. I really enjoy collecting and I I like to talk to you guys in the comments. So um yeah thank you so much for watching i will see you guys very soon for my end of year photo card collection tour keep an eye out for it it's gonna be exciting i will see you guys next time goodbye